So I'm going to continue a little more in wheeling this and stretch this a little more before I go to the rubber band. This wheel that I'm using now is the second wheel and uh, I need to have a wheel that, that fits the curvature here. So I have more to go. The, the one that I started with was the flat one and that will, it was enough. So the touching point on the on second wheel is less, so I need to keep the tracks closer. So you can see the reverse curve there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do that side as well. And how much you need to do before you go to the rubber band, it's hard to say, it depends on the shape. What I'm showing you now here is, is the principle how the metal works. So I think we are done there now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the second wheel, flip this upside down and roll it with a rubber band and see where it goes. So you can see a reverse curve. So it's all about shrinking, stretching. That's all we can do. I don't want to have a sharper wheel because I don't think we're going to need more, more crown like this than the lower wheel has. So I'm going to do a little on this side as well. So here you can actually see a reverse curve now. And what I recommend now is I'm going to take the flattest wheel and I'm going to go this way up, uh, no, I'm going to go this way and stretch this because I stopped a little before here. So this is short here. So that's what holding a little of the, the reverse curve there now. But you can see the reverse curve when I put this here, that's where you can really see the reverse curve. I need to wheel it this way and I don't need so much but but it helps the whole shape to stretch the edge maybe four inches and then go over the edge And I do the same thing on this end. Yeah. 
So this really helped the panel. You can see that the sides is a little more, more curve, more arc on it now after I stretch this end and this end. So that is a reverse curve. And how much you need to stretch it before, that's, that's a trial and error. It depends on the shape that you're looking for. But this is the principle. You need to stretch more on the edge and less, less the further into the frame and keep the frame short. If you're wheeling this up too much, so you have too much curve here, you can always go back in the center with the second wheel or a wheel that fits the radius and stretch it you know, on the frame that we have in the center. And when you make that longer, the panel will be less reverse curve. So that was the tips and tricks about the, this wheel, um, reverse curve in the English wheel. And um, I hope that was helpful for you and that explained things that can be valuable for you. And if you have more questions and more things that you wonder about, check our YouTube channel or go to my website www.lassimentalshaping.com. See you there. Thank you.